What's up guys? Welcome to another video. So today we are on the test server and we are going to be checking out the new item that was released in the last update called Sierra's Charm. Sierra's Charm is available in the donator, the in-game donator store for 1,000 credits. Just a reminder for people that don't know, you can get donator credits in-game very easily through bonds, lucky coins, or um, even the, the gargoyle boss. The gargoyle boss drops a jar of stone and I believe Jar of Stone is donated credits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is the Jar of Stone. So you can literally just kill the Gargoyle boss and get jars and hope to, you know, get get them that way if you really want to go as far as grinding. Um, so how it works is whenever you have it in your inventory and then get a rare drop, the rare drop will trigger it to explode. And when it explodes, it will give you an extra loot. This bookie I have here is to simulate one loot, so... Uh, if we do boom, it sh it triggers as if we just had our charm vanish and received the gadget. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this 250 times, and then we will... It's going to be kind of harder to track, so I guess I'll just have to... Crap, that's a good point. I'll have to pay attention. Damn! I hate paying attention. Alright, so then we have the last item here. SGS, boom. So this is the total loot. If you'll notice, we're missing one item. The big item. We did not actually get it. So this is what the actual file looks like right here. It's very similar to the other boxes and stuff like that. Um, use the same weighted chance. You have the Sierra Brew, which is the number one item, and then the only other item that's actually on that table is a large cash bag, which is up to one bill cash. And then you have everything else here. I'll organize the bank just so it looks a little better visually, but we did not hit a single very rare. And if you're wondering, the chance of hitting a very rare is about 1 in 250. So. Theoretically, we should have hit in one, or, or, or certainly gotten close to it. Let's let's do six more and just see. I'm pretty sure it's 256 is the exact number. So, nope, did not get it. Did not pull the, uh, not, not. Uh, this item right here is, uh, yeah, provides 100 points. So, it's a much bigger legacy bond or whatever. Okay, so the top tier stuff is definitely the worst of the bunch. It is the common stuff. It is, you know, decent in terms of components, but obviously from, from the Sierra's Charm, it's the easily worst item. You do get a couple rares. You can't get green. I don't, we just didn't get one. Uh, I suppose 250 is maybe too small of a sample size, but, you know, it's all random like in the first place. Uh, we did get one of each jar, a couple of them. They're all the same chance, just a uncommon, so it's just random which ones you'd get. We seem to get some, we seem to get a lot of the worst ones. But it is by We didn't even... Yeah, okay, we did get a jar of stone. There we go. Um, we have mystery boxes, rare boxes. These are the cash ones. Legacy stocks. Uh, we did get... Um, what is that? Six bus total. Not not enough to complete a full thing, but... Uh, yeah, so... When you're considering the balance of these, it's mainly the high-end stuff. Not so much the low-end stuff. Now, the low-end stuff can be decent, but... It's mainly the high-end stuff that you're focusing on. If you think about, oh, I just got this Elijah for $10, then it's a great deal, or 1,000 donated credits. But if you think, oh, well, I got this Sarah Norman sword for 1,000, it's clearly bad. So if you have any thoughts on these, any suggestions on, on what you could do to maybe make it different, I, I suppose maybe changing how rare the big one is, but it is a very important ring, and I'll sort of explain how it works and what it does. So now I, ex I know I explained this a little bit in the last video, the upload video, but I figured I'll go more. So this is the actual loot you're looking for. It's called Sierra Brew. It's not a potion. I forgot to add a like option that said don't drink this, but whatever. It's not a potion. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use it on your luck of the pugs, and you create the best ring, the luck of the chows. So it only has six in each stat, but what makes it better is that it has more luck bonus than the luck of the pugs, and then it has an additional feature. So this one's gonna be kind of tricky to explain. I don't know why but it is so so whenever you kill a monster let's just see if we can't get it to trigger so we'll just see if we can't get a uh, kill in the background so whenever you get a very rare drop now a very rare drop is going to yell so if it doesn't yell it's not a very rare drop if it's green text that just means it's rare if it yells that means it's very rare and this only applies to monster drops not boxes or anything like that um, and your your ring lux won't won't change this either whenever you do get the very rare drop now the ring will help you get the very rare drop but once you get the very rare drop you'll have a one in 69 chance that that loot would get doubled 
So for example, we're at Bandos. If we kill this Bandos right now, and it drops Bandos chest plate, and we happen to hit the 1 in 69 roll, we will get two Bandos chest plates. I will... I'll sit here for a minute and see if I can't get it to trigger, but it does have the potential to double loots, and it could be any... It's anything that's a very rare anyways, and obviously very rare items are the max. So you could be killing Vasa with this ring and get a double twisted bow drop. Um, you could be killing, uh, you know, Ixthorin, you get a double masked plate body drop, you can, you know, stuff like that. Any actual monster drops is what can be doubled. And then it does have more luck boost than the luck of the, of the pug. So by itself, it is already a better ring in terms of that. So, that's kind of why it is as rare as it is. And the chance for it, if you're wanting to know, is around 1 in 256. So, we just, unfortunately didn't get one which can happen with odds we could we could open a billion of them and never get it that's just how odds work right it's a chance it'd be really unlikely and uh, you know uh, basically impossible to go a billion dry but it is theoretically possible um yeah let me know what you think what you think about the update this was uh, sort of a counter to just directly selling items in the shop like we had done before where we had items like elijah and spirit shield and um, the Infernal Cape, stuff like that. Um, I mentioned those specifically because those were the only ones really worth it. Obviously, there's some stuff in there that wasn't worth, like Dragon Claws for for twenty uh, t t two thousand points or whatever. That that probably wouldn't be worth it. I don't think anyone ever bought it. But um, when we did the poll about pay to win, that was one of the main things that people didn't like, and I can see why. It did definitely val devalue the Infernal Cape. A lot of people bought theirs, um, so now newer people will have to earn it, and that'll be interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so this was our sort of compromise. I did. It's based off of an item that exists on RuneScape Three, um, called. Uh, let me let me get the wiki page. Actually, I don't want this video to go too long. It's basically based off an item called Lucky Charm on RuneScape Three. If you're interested in it, it's similar. It's a little different. It's not as good. Obviously, you don't get the same ring. The ring is kind of. The ring is also based off of Fire Three. It's based off of a different different ring from a different thing. Hazel Hazel Mirror's Signet Ring or whatever it's called, but. Yeah, let me know what you think about that. We did, obviously, we opened up 250. That would be a lot of money or in-game bonds to accomplish that. And we didn't get the ring. We did get some decent stuff. We got six busts, which, again, you got to remember, those need to stay rare as well because those are, you know, those have the potential for being um, super bad. If you have any thoughts, um, some people have suggested maybe make it not ha have a chance where it doesn't trigger every single time, but has a chance of, um, like, it ha it'll have a chance of breaking, so you might get two loops instead of one. Um, I feel like with the current, I mean, I, I guess that's really up to you guys with the current, let me look at my bank. If this was the bank, you know, would that be broken if we got, you know, if we got two of them in, in one loot? It, it might, it, it really just depends. Like, if you got two Sarah Swords, no, it wouldn't. But if you got two Sarah Brews, yeah, or Sierra Brews, not Sarah Brews, Sierra Brews. I, I never really, uh, until just then, I've never considered the fact that those two might be sound too similar. Uh, whatever. <laughs> so I'm not changing it now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I don't want this video to be too long. It shouldn't be. It's just a nice opening video. If you have thoughts, 